Hello. Uh, welcome, everyone. It has been a bit. Um, I think this is officially season two, episode one of yeah. The Grind. Season two, episode one. I'm glad that you put it that way, because as soon as I hit record, I was like, I don't know what episode this is. And I was like, I bet Keith doesn't either. <laughs> no, it, no, it's season two. It's guys, season two, right? episode one. Yeah. yeah, we took a little we took a little break between seasons oh, to tend to extreme burnout and life events and fatigue. Yes. Um, yeah. Near death experiences. Maybe. Near death. Uh, I don't there know. There was a there was a lot of stuff. Um everything happened. Near death is a bit drastic, but there was a lot of stuff happening in my life and in yours, I know. So uh yeah. you know, a lot of a lot of positive things have gone on with my life. Um, I don't want to get too much into it. This is a Summoner's Word podcast, um, but, you know, things are going really well for me right now. And, I, you know, me and Keith talked before the cast. I think I can speak for him and say things are going really well for him, too. Yeah. Um, so it's just uh, there's been a lot, a lot of good stuff happening. And, uh, you know, with some burnout and everything that was happening at the time, we, we did take a bit of an extended break. We initially thought it'd be about a month. But, uh, you know, here we are. And a lot of you have stuck around. Uh, yeah. The Discord is still daily, daily active. Uh, there's still a lot of good conversations happening. Still a lot of people joining, which is really cool. Uh, yeah. A lot of people asking, uh, joining and asking, like, hey, guys, when's the next cast? When's the next cast? And, uh, well, we're finally here. So, Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been really excited to get back to it, truthfully. Like, I, despite being burned out on Summoner's War, I was not burned out on the podcast. Um, and it was kind of hard for me to reconcile that feeling of like, hey, I'm not lo I'm not logging in or playing this game, but I still want to talk about it and talk, you know, with you and you know, Jaron and, and talk yeah. with everyone in the community and like, you know, be involved. But it was like it it felt, you know, it felt strange. And and yeah, our, our YouTube's been growing too. I keep getting notifications for comments and new subscribers and just I mean all the all the support's been awesome. Um obviously if you're listening to this, you're supporting us. So you're awesome. Um you've made it. Welcome to season two where we should have, uh, I, I don't know if we can commit to weekly, but we're going to try at first. Mm -hmm. um, it might be bi-weekly, but we're going we're gonna to try and crank out content uh, as, you know, as much and as high quality as we can for you. Because, you know, personally, I, I just miss it. I miss the cast. I miss talking about the game, even if I'm trash. Um, wow. No, or, you know, as trash as Jaren's raid team right now failing in R5. Um, it's fine. He's well, carrying me. I, we <laughs> might. Still make this. I think Amarna can do it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've uh, hello everyone. I've I've missed all of you. Yes. Quite a quite a lot. Uh, hello truthfully. everyone. Um, yeah, I honestly I have to. I've missed doing the cast. I I've been a bit more active than Keith has, but I've still been way less active than I used to be. Um, I'm super invested in this rage zone right now. I built a second team. I think yeah. So we're gonna lose it. Armana used revive, and, um, wow. but I'm just gonna back out. We'll uh, we'll hit it again. Yeah, um, no no big deal. We don't. I mean, we might. My team's looking pretty sexy right oh, here. Well, already, there's, already. There's no heal block on the boss though, so. It's yeah. Oh, oh oh it's it's hap it's happening. Is it gonna happen? Or I backed out, and I feel bad now. What but, you left? You yeah. rage quit? I mean, I'm still like in the party. So like oh okay uh no i don't think it's gonna happen i think we lose <laughs> uh, but i'm i'm sticking it out i believe okay wow only my darian is left and your uh homunculus That's well it. um oh, cool. besides Sorry, our you guys had to hear all of that <laughs> uh, do you have the rate up on your screen at all jaren like no people... they no, can't just our uh, face our yeah, horrified just our... looking faces as we're failing a raid yeah um, um but anyway so you know, we, even with this cast, uh, just because we're, you know, just getting back into it, um, it's going to be a little more free form, a little less, a yeah. uh, little less, what am I trying to say, directed as, uh, you know, some of our last episodes were. But yeah, um, yeah we're just, you know, kind of wanted to talk about our experience in the past few months outside of the game uh, and inside the game, really. Uh, like one big thing that happened for me, um, I pulled Ganny. Freaking mm -hmm. Ganny. I also pulled Armana. I don't remember if that happened before we uh, quit the cast. I don't think it did. I think I pulled him when we we'll just, like one we'll of just our pretend last no one knows but... anything. About <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've got Armana. I've got our uh, Ganny. Um, that's really the only two relevant lightnings I've had in the last three months. Um, yeah. I uh, 
didn't get any other nat fives even trash i've i've had a, a nat five dry spell until last night actually um which is funny because we've had this podcast on the calendar uh for two or three weeks now yeah um but last night um as one does, I summoned a premium pack because I've been I've been literally spending every crystal I've gotten in three months on premium packs, and I haven't summoned a nat five. Like I still have the blessing from like whatever doesn't matter. Who cares? Point is, <laughs> uh, I got fire monkey last night, but I hadn't summoned a nat five for three months. Um, I think fire monkey is good. He's super relevant. I think in RTA, I'm really behind. I'm gonna have to start watching more videos and catching up, guys. So. Um, or just correct me, right? I think the best way to get correct information on the internet is to say incorrect information, and then people will be like, "Wow, you suck. You're wrong." <laughs> so I think I think Fire Monkey is still good. Fire um, Monkey is awesome in RTA. He's yeah. he's clutch, like at least a tier. At right. least. I mean, like like Hathor is still a beast, so Fire Monkey is still a beast. Yeah, right? honestly. So I got to CC and he has elemental advantage. So I got Hathor um, the other Hathord. I didn't oh, pull a half. I was like, bro, I you got, got half okay. uh -huh. um, Yeah, Hathor is still really good, in case yeah. you were wondering. Um, I would imagine <laughs> Hathor is still really good because you can't nerf that monster enough. Your Asima got buffed. Uh -huh. While yeah, you were not playing the buffed. game, your Asima Dude, got was, buffed. It's a wild buff, too, because it's like if you crumble, if you use that, uh, that third skill, like you automatically get another turn, basically, if you're... If you're swinging into, if you have accuracy and you're swinging into like a normal amount of monsters, so like my arena wings, I just do Asima with now basically. And um, frigate, that's super sick. Nat five yeah. you pulled. I do have frigate. Also, I did get two L and D uh, lightnings recently. Um, I, got, I didn't know this. I didn't know this, guys. No, what is? Did. What are they? Oh, um, I got. Okay. I got Dover. Oh yeah, I did know that. Right. That's the a light sick pull. bomber. Yep. And then you got um, the Mik Mikhail. No, uh, no it was that Mikhail is like the what the dark, yeah, I think so. or something. Uh, I, I got the I, I got don't. the dark uh, chakram dancer. Is what oh I got. yeah yeah yeah. And, Holy uh, dude, shit! Okay. Her her okay. So I have asthma. You all know I have asthma, and like forever I've been like, okay, I'll never get it. But I really am am interested in the interaction between her S three and asthma. Like if they can do cool things, because her S three does five percent. Like, it basically, it doesn't pop the dots, but it does extra damage based on how many dots are on a monster. Um, it increases the damage by five. No, it, it destroys yeah. max HP. It will not destroys. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, yeah. It's like, it's a 5% damage. So, like, if they have, you know, uh, three dots on them, it's going to hit the, the boss for 15% of its HP. Just from that skill. That's disgusting for Toa. Yeah, so, yeah, so theoretically, right, like, I go... Um, like Asthma S3s, it throws three dots on something. And I, and I think it's, do I don't think it's like instances of dots. Like that's uh, like, like stacks of dots. So those are three two turn dots, right? Yeah. Um, which is 30% from like the, like the, uh, from dots from Asthma. And then uh, Asthma goes again because she gets a full attack bar and like slaps a couple more dots on there. Um, and then theoretically my dark uh, Chakram Dancer should be able to swing for like 40% plus damage. You know, like 40 percent, like it could be it could be full support build and hit for 40 percent damage. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. Honestly. So I really I want to build it. I also pulled a Skogel, um last night in the same pack as my Fire Monkey. That's a good pack. Uh, it was a good pack. I was like, I was like, ah, whatever. Lightning skip. Oh, it's a Skogel. Sweet. Can't skip. And it's a Fire Monkey. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I accept. <laughs> that's I accept nice. That's really um, nice. Yeah, and I have to, I have to feed my dupe, uh, my dupe Leica to get another blessing, for when I summon more scrolls. But not a not, bad plan. You know, honestly. like like mulch, is mulching the right word? <laughs> is that what it's called when you turn when you turn a nat five into a blessing? Um, I think it is now. You're gonna mulch. Yeah, your mulch, nat five. you got to mulch your nat five. Um, yeah. yeah. This raid, these raids are not looking bad. Uh, okay. I wasn't sure. I couldn't tell if your homunculus was dead or not. It was like stunned and invisible. Yeah. But See, that's been happening. I don't know <laughs> if anyone else has experienced that bug, but it's happening in, in raids. Um, like people will that get stunned just kind of like disappear for a second. Is, yeah. is anyone? And honestly, every time it happens, I'll like look and then I'll move it around a bit and it'll come back up. And I'm like, was it really not there? Did I just not see it? It's like, Am I just like, it's like dumb? 
they're like opacity changes when they get stunned and then you can like see through them or something i don't know what's happening yeah it's super weird i don't know if anyone else has that let, let us know um i'd yeah. be super curious to know um um yeah so summon, have you summoned anything else dude no you got a honestly Skogel, right yeah well yeah event? i did get skogel no no oh, no your twins where are you at on twins i still have yet to get sabrina i pulled shana cool. from the event um so i can't get sabrina super sad because i really want sabrina she would be yeah. so good she would be very good um it is depressing hey look at those shape-shifting stones um i okay, did what, okay. I, I also built my win so i built darian yeah. like yesterday um uh, mm -hmm. to run a second r5 team and it's working pretty yeah. consistently it's not you know it's i'm like doing 75 percent right now i think yeah well, i'm doing With my team yeah, but my team is shit. So doing raids with Keith. Um, he's got Tessa of resistance lead, which I I actually don't have a resistance leader, um, on either team. So I've got you know two teams, and I'm lacking the one, probably leader skill that everyone seems to be lacking in public raids. That's that's so, truthfully why I built my Tessa so early on, and everyone's like, "Oh, Tessa sucks for raids," but at the same time, it's like no one has a resistance leader. Well, like no one knew. Like all the old school players have the the dark death knight or whatever yeah, right um, yeah, and they yeah. are just like oh all cool but i'm not cool enough to have one of those also dude um have we had any good hohs lately because no, i don't think i 100 percent so. skipped like was it light phantom thief or something no was it? it was the like, light joker oh which i shouldn't have skipped because i need lucian skill ups you should not have skipped that one but I, you know, you, you, I just I literally couldn't I literally could not like I couldn't even look at the game I don't know what my problem was it was, it was painful yep um, I I mean even when I was so that's when I was probably at my lowest like activity level when HOH came out and I mean I ran the dungeon to like four six maybe mm -hmm. and then I couldn't yeah. auto anymore so I was like, all right that's I, I get three Lucian yeah. skill ups yeah i've i've done that with all the other hohs so i haven't been too inactive like i've done all the other hohs um i missed the i missed the legendary rune crafting event because i'm a piece of trash um but i did get the vampire and the devils and all that other stuff um and i've been doing toa normal because i can just auto it and i've been doing toa hard up to like 70 or 80 and then just giving up because yeah. i don't want a manual from 80 to 100 um, my, when see, I don't even want to log into the game. My event rune, uh, I actually crafted early. I got decent subs. It was like crit rate, speed, attack what percent. Did you do the event? What was it? Violent or yeah, violent crit damage. It just I, okay. I feel like I'm probably never gonna have enough of those. So I I've been I've done it for every crafted. Ad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and it 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 rolled poorly. I think I actually got like two rolls into flat defense. That was on there so it's, i don't know i i'll have to go back and look at it but yeah it didn't roll very well i did pull a rune however that was violent uh crit damage slot you know, slot four um and it rolled up to like 39 attack percent so like quad sure. roll attack percent um or it was something like it maybe it was like 35 i don't remember at this exact point but then i went to r5 and i was like i've got to get a grind for this rune and immediately like 10 runs in pulled a legendary violent attack percent crime and threw it on there and got like a six or seven percent roll out of it um wow so right now it's sitting at 41 so wherever i was at before it's at 41 percent now um with speed and crit rate as two of the other subs are that i can remember off the top of my head um a great room at the end of the day fantastic room. and i'm super excited about that yeah man i mean that that sounds nice so okay let me Let's switch, let's switch uh, subjects for a minute. We can circle back, as we remember. Um, but uh, there have been some updates, man. There, there have been cool. some updates. So the one I'm most hyped about is the secondary storage <laughs> for, all my, for all my rainbow mons and double mons. I haven't um, even used it. You haven't even used it. Okay, um, cool. cool. Uh, man, we got a bunch of stuff. Okay, secondary awakening, because I'm trash. Can you only skill them up by feeding them secondary awakened monsters? Yes. Do devil mons work? Yes. <coughs> okay. So we, um, we actually have a guy on our Discord that devil mons is to a Bella. Which... I mean, my 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 question is is like, 
do we know how good they are yet? I mean, obviously we fucking do. Okay, so uh, some of them are not great. Light War Bear is one that comes to mind. He like like suicides himself. Uh, like he yeah. he took the spot of OG Suicide Bear from Mo Long, and <laughs> he's not good at it. Um, not, okay, but like okay, so I've always thought that Bella could be good. You know, even in like RTA, Bella skilled base, her. yeah, Bella's base is that she's better unskilled than her fully skilled awakening form. I haven't actually checked all the numbers on that. I am regurgitating them. Okay. From zero, I believe it was zero that said that. Yeah. So that the secondary awakened Bella is good. Yes. Um, Pro, the dark Indigami. Is okay. What? A- awesome. Okay, so something something that I looked at in the past. Sorry, we can talk about Crow in a second. Um, but I'm I'm hyped on this. But the the fire the fire pixie. Okay. Yes. She I don't sucks. No. She what sucks. She does actually. Okay. Even but her S three blows dots up. Yeah. Like like her S like her S one is a dot. Her S two is a dot, and her S three blows dots up like as a nuke. Mm-hmm. And I love that. I love that idea. That being said, I think her secondary awakened form has like 8,500 base HP. And it's really horrible and terrible. And I don't know where I would use it or how I would use it. But I've just, I love dots. I don't know what my, it's because I have asthma, right? I like, I'm yeah. always trying to find cool dot synergies. So like this dark uh, chakram that I got has great synergies, you know? Um, yeah, you honestly, you've got to build, now that you have that, you've got to build the water home to like stack your dots. Yeah, dude. Could you imagine? It'd be like water home. It'd be like dark. Or, I'm sorry. It'd be like Asima, water homie, and then the the dark, and she just one shots everything. And you, does your bomber does his S two is that the one that does all the dots too? Uh, I think his S two is an AOE stun. Oh, uh, it might have dot. I don't know. I'd have to look. It might. I don't know. I haven't even awakened him yet. He's I'm still four play. star unawakened in my storage. So we gonna find out though. Let's see. Yeah. Your face like lit up. I can tell you're, you're, <laughs> yeah. googling, you're googling things seriously. Um, light. I typed in light into Google, and the the top suggested search is light. That's Google. It it does know you. Um, that's great. Tell me more. I think it's an AOE stun. I think his S two is an AOE stun, and it's broken. Oh, so it's not quite an AOE stun. You say it's AOE stun because it's an AOE bomb that does stun oh. because they're bombs. But, but what about his S3? Is his S3 the AOE stun? He has CC, right? Uh, his S3 is an AOE stun. Attacks all okay. enemies, um, decreases attack gauge by 50%, and stuns the enemies for one turn with a 60% chance, fully skilled, 80%. It's fucking broken, dude. 50% attack bar reduction and a stun. Um, Hold on. So that makes it's me think. Ad. It's just a Varad, basically. I kinda, kinda. You know, it's a Varad with bombs. It's good, right? Don't don't no, throw. It's at. better than Varad. I would. I think like, I think Cobalt Bomber is better than Varad. Light Cobalt Bomber. But that being said, I don't use my Varad at all. Now let Never. me see here. De- so, <laughs> Hathor, mm-hmm. by comparison. Is a two turn sleep, which we uh-huh. we all know how sleep can work. How broken two turn CC is. Yeah, eh, fuck that. Because um, you can't violent out of it. And then uh, it also decreases the attack bar by seventy five percent. So, I thought I remembered when they made the change to her that they changed it to one turn sleep with seventy five percent. It's reduction. two turn sleep, but it's like only your target is seventy five percent attack bar, and the others are fifty or something or twenty five. Okay. Um, like. Well, either way, that so light cobalt bomber is better than than Hathor. Mm. Is it for Toa? Uh, I guess yeah. Because stuns because over sleep, but no one uses Hathor and Toa. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I agree. But ha- um, but I, I just wanted to compare it. So you're, you're technically correct. It's also a five. It's a five turn cooldown on his S3 as opposed to Varen's four. So True. take that for what you will. But you also, I mean, you have two full AoE stun. Well, yeah, I would pick him over Varen. Four damage. And I don't, I literally don't use Varen. Almost so. comparable CC. But no, no dots, but his S1 
increases damage by 15% for each harmful effect. So it could be a good good synergy. Anyway, we we okay. drove I drove us down that rabbit hole yeah, and it uh, got really Tell deep. me about Crow. Uh Crow. What is Crow he do? also works off of damage uh like the he gets bonus damage for every every like negative effect or whatever. So it's like like the water KFG. Um, I really want to find the wait. That happened. Um, but now what he I think it's his S three brings two other people to attack with him, and. It's also 50% increase per negative effect or something like that. And whoever whoever he brings to attack with him also gets that increase. That's pretty good. Damn. Um, dude, so have have you how are you doing in the new dungeons? Right? I like, I can't run level five on auto with, with like any of the um, uh, the on either or like because i for my bella my bella is secondary awakened and i have just like a bird bella twins and they just auto that for all the materials like on level five can you do that do you know maybe if about? i maybe if i had sabrina yeah i think it is like sabrina shana or something that i'm doing yeah um I might be and, able just, to do and the trick was i had to attack um i think left crystal then right crystal well the and then, I can auto the boss for like the two A. I can't do the boss for like the rune drop. Oh yeah, no, neither can I. Okay, yeah, the rune yeah. the rune the rune drop dungeon. I I can manual it occasionally, <laughs> but I I just don't I don't give a crap. Like I if I can't auto it, I don't care. And I was just wondering if there was like an easy peasy strategy for it that well, I care about. But I I do so the, the level like, five people have been running like. Shayna, Sabrina, or maybe even Shayna Maruna since it's twin, but I'd have to check that. But like twins, bird lead, and Fran. Twins, bird, Fran. Okay, I think I tried that and it just like I couldn't auto it, but my mine weren't, you know, they're like they weren't FRR'd or anything. Right. Um, um, maybe is, is FRR tomorrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll try and get my teams working for that. Um, and then you get what ten dimensional crystals a day. Uh, it's one every three hours, I think. Oh, okay. So that kind of ten a day, I guess. It takes eight days to fully refresh. Okay. Uh, wow, we failed. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because I haven't been keeping up with them enough. But yeah, it's like just another thing to grind. It's kind of nice that it doesn't take like energy, you know. Yeah. Um, to grind them. Yeah. So, uh, the fire pixie that you were asking about. Yeah. Um, so her S3 attacks the enemy to inflict damage. In addition, blows up continuous damage granted on the target equivalent to the dot. So the same? I'm pretty yeah. sure. Attacks yeah, it basically you just pops the dots. Oh. I mean, it's it was that way before her 2A. I don't know what they changed yeah. on her. Maybe just better. I, I just meant like, like now that she's 2A'd or whatever, maybe her stats would be a little better. Should be a little more viable. Nah. But... Crow, uh, Crow has an 85% chance to reduce the enemy's attack bar by 25% with his S1. So no defense break like Bella. Okay. Um, his S2 inflicts damage proportionate to max HP to all enemies and decreases their attack power for two turns and attack bar by 15%. Um, his S1 is also a max HP based damage skill. Then his S3, just kidding, is a passive his S3 is a passive, okay. That's what it says on here. It increases the chance of your attack landing as a critical hit by 20%. Stuns the enemy for one turn when the attack lands as a critical hit with a 50% chance. That is the is war bear, and now I understand why none of this makes sense. Yeah, I was going to say, dude, um, everything sounded wrong. It did. Uh, but crow. Could, you know... <laughs> The actual crow attacks the enemy, decreases defense for two turns with an 80% chance, and inflicts continuous damage for three turns, 80% chance. So there's your dot synergy you were looking for. Uh-huh, yeah, the dot synergy. Okay, we're, we're coming into it. Yep, okay, second one, team up. 
teams up with another ally to attack the enemy. The damage is increased by 20% for each harmful effect on the enemy. And this is also applied to allies who attack. Okay. That's a lot of damage. S3 leaves a branding effect for two turns and damage increased by 50% for each harmful effect. That's pretty nice, dude. The branding plus the damage. Yeah. He, I, I saw, where, where I, I was using him now. R5. I saw a yeah. guy with him in R5 the other day uh, hit a nuke for like 70k um, yeah. with this crow. And I mean, that's, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot no, of damage. Not, that's a ton. That's exciting. Okay. That's really cool. Um, Just by was... comparison, my, um, my water KFG. Her mm -hmm. S3 hits for 21 with like the full stacks plus a brand and raid. So like, you know, tech break, kill block, defense break, yeah. brand, speed slow. Um, those five. She hits for like 21k. So that's 80k. Pro yeah. was hitting for 70k. And then he also has that team up, which has to increase damage a little more than water KFG, I would think. Yeah. Sorry, give me one second to next trade. Yeah, so Pro is hot commodity. All right. Okay. So what else? What else? Um, what else is new? Are you? I don't know. What are you hyped about? Are you sad about anything? Like, did they nerf anything lately? Um, not that I can remember. No, nothing that just stands out as like, oh, that's a really bad nerf for me. Um, yeah. I'm sure that there were some things that people kind of kind of got sad about. They actually buffed my wind monkey. I will say I am sad because I did not realize wind monkey's passive only worked on himself. Wait, what? It only works on himself? Uh, yeah, that's what I was told. I have not been able to really fact check that um, with my own maths, but I thought it worked like Darian. I thought, it was Darian. I thought he was a Darian. I did too. And uh, apparently I it's... Need, do I need to read it? I guess you don't have wind monkey on your team. I don't. Which is why you built Darian. Yep. Dang. So I thought that was the thing. Apparently it's not. Um, his passive does activate though when other team like when your teammates get hit because he has a chance to counter attack okay so i don't he doesn't reduce the damage though which i was, so it's only the counter attack yeah so i was very sad to learn that um that was not cool that was not a cool realization when i was like <laughs> wait a second because yeah. they buffed him up to like he's like i don't want to speak without really looking it's at like it but it's 35 percent now or yeah something. it's like a 35 percent damage reduction i think yeah and i was like r5 here we go baby let's do this <laughs> and it <laughs> didn't work so he didn't get nerfed but um you found out new information which effectively nerfed him in your mind yes yes <laughs> okay that's fair i was super, I like now he's just like i honestly as punishment i threw him in storage oh and yeah it, it wasn't even his fault but like you know parents can be in yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. You thought. Um, I did build Wind Barb, and he enabled my Water Rift to finally clear his S so that I could get a freaking LD scroll that rolled a Dark Griffin, my fifth or something. Nice. So, dude, um, I, I pulled I pulled Wind Barb like two months ago, and he's still in storage. But I should. I need to like. I just need. He's to, really good. I need to reevaluate everything. I need to like actually sit down and spend time and figure my life out again yeah but, well i mean i wouldn't let it you know burn you out <laughs> uh <-huh. I> mean, <laughs> yeah, but you know i guess i guess my question is is like has i mean because because all right so these new these new dungeons and these new uh runes sparkly runes what are they called yeah the yes those runes. sparkly runes um it starts with an a i don't know yeah, they're good. Um, but there's no what? There's like no violent or swift. Not yet. They're gonna add them later. Uh, from those they're other yeah. other rifts, I'm assuming. Okay. Because I, I guess it's like I guess it's like does does dragons matter anymore? Yes. Yeah. Because you can only farm so much of this stuff, right? Like it's okay, it's true. limited, and they they're not giving you extra energy or ways to refill yet. True. So. Um, 
besides so that, yeah, okay. like Fair there's a, there's a small power creep too moving with the runes, but the idea yeah. is like the base stats all just have plus one extra that they could get on the initial roll. Past and that, it? it's all the same. Yeah. So like, okay. So like, you, like you thirty five could... was the max speed. Now thirty six. So okay. So like, they're they're gonna be better. You want like, if you only had time to farm dragons or the new dungeon, farm the new dungeon. But assuming yeah. you use all of your energy in the new dungeon, or whatever, and there's no violent or stuff either. Okay, I get it. I see, I understand. I just was trying to like wrap my head around it. Like, where does it fit in? Like, do I have to? It just basically, if you can farm that, you farm that, and if you can't, you farm whatever dungeon you're farming. Yes. Yeah. So, also for all you new players, especially or people who haven't thought of it yet, save your crafting material because you're gonna want to craft for violent runes and swift runes when they release those whenever that wouldn't it be from a different one though um no there i mean yes there's, and no. the, there's the two zones right like there's the karzan ruins and the yeah but there's the like one. the there's like the it's basically like the rune essence yeah but does um, the... that you farm i would save that stuff up so that you can as efficiently as possible craft i feel like i have an excess of that essence though you i mean you might from like doing the 2a but yeah you know, i would rather have excess than be limited yeah, yeah yeah no no i get that um did you die what happened to you no Where... uh we we passed the run and now i'm up okay I'm a, well we passed <laughs> i'm the a run great ten minutes partner. ago <laughs> 10 plus minutes ago no um okay that makes sense so it's not it's not bad i can i can wrap my head around it and the secondary awakenings are good in my opinion like are so obviously everyone's secondary awakened their bella because everyone has a Bella. But, like, would you say there's any, like, must secondary awakened monsters to go after in this in this batch? Um, honestly, for people who like, are getting into raids, like R5, I would say Crow is a great option yeah. to second awaken. Um, and here's another just, like, pro tip when you're, like, leveling stuff up uh, and you want to, like, 2A Crow. Um, if you don't have him ruined yet, just throw, like, Durant, not Endurance like the the fight set and the i don't even know them. But, you know they give your whole team yeah. like extra hp or extra defense or whatever um, yeah, and they can make the run a little smoother but i think crow is the one i've seen to a second um okay. and and then i i haven't seen it because i don't do a lot of rta or like running but i imagine like fran is probably you can 2a fran yeah she's the light pixie or not pixie light uh fairy is is she yeah are you sure you can 2a fran mm -hmm. because uh they did nerf fran by the way they did they, they removed her stun right yeah on and one. then they put it on 2a like really yeah you can so, 2A fran yeah so are her, you sure yeah now her S1 just lowers the attack bar by 10% with each hit or something like that. Um, I don't have Fran built, guys. Why if I'm wrong, I'm probably so wrong. Bad. But Okay, wait, 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 wait. So you're sure you can 2A Fran? I'm looking at it as we speak. I can share the link if you want to take Why it. Why am I so dumb? Can you just answer that question? Um, it's, Keith, I wouldn't be so hard on yourself. You have been out of the loop is all. I just, just I that. like, I swear I looked at it and I was like, nah, I can't, I can't two A Fran. Um, I, I like now, it was like the dungeon, like I couldn't run the dungeon with Fran in it or something. Well, like she didn't count as a I, fairy. Maybe not. I don't think so though. It's but very keen. her S three says it removes harmful effect, makes the ally invincible, and grants immunity for two turns. What? Yeah, I so they took away the attack buff on the S three, but gave her a stun as. Did they? Okay, I don't know anything about Fran. Um, if you guys could, please just enlighten us about Fran. Fran. Uh, Fran I'm, the broken. I'm that. Sorry, I. Brainwave. Uh huh. Go on. Game of Thrones ended while we were on break. Yeah. It did. And you and I did not get to discuss uh -huh. really any of season oh, eight. I, 
at I all. I just loved it. I thought season eight was the best. You're being facetious. I am. Um, okay. <laughs> I loved. I loved how they ended it. I thought the writing was really good. Um, there definitely weren't any plot holes. <laughs> I loved how they. I just loved like how they tied up all the character arcs so well. You know, it was. I it was so really. It was great. We're gonna we're gonna derail this train for a bit because I want to talk about Game of Thrones while while I can. Um, okay. Season eight was. <laughs> Oh my god, it was so interesting. I am one of the people I do not complain about a lot of things. I'm I'm normally just happy to be there, happy to be along for the ride. I enjoy what's given to me, and you know I I take what I can when I can, and I don't feel like you know anyone ever owes me anything. Like the writers really didn't owe me anything, um, mm-hmm. but I really was disappointed with season eight of game of thrones uh the way that danny's second dragon died the way the hound uh-huh. died like who sorry uh, spoilers we're they, gonna have to they, throw spoilers on that the cast. fucking ballista dude just around the mountain where the dragon couldn't see it and then it just takes one to the throat and dies and then like the next episode one dragon takes the entirety of king's landing yeah um, and then like and then she burninates the fucking peasants why doesn't she just go for the red keep yep that also um, didn't make any sense. Also, now, quickly take a look at Fran that I popped into my rage team. Okay. I feel like you might be getting the wrong information somewhere. Because her S3 definitely still gives attack power. I mean, on 2A. They were mo- I don't think you can 2A Fran. Hold on. I'm going to rage quit and... Um, Hold on. Do, don't, rage quit. don't rage quit. Don't rage quit. I got no, no, no. Google right here. No, 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 your Google is trash. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I don't know what you're Googling right now. I I mean... No, you can't fucking 2A Fran, dude. Well, then you who, can't. Who's the light... Who's the light fairy? Uh, It's like Neil? It's definitely not Fran. Neil. <laughs> that actually sounds accurate. Yeah, I'll fucking tell you something right now, dude. You cannot do a friend. Wow. <laughs> Hell, dude. Um, uh, do you want to reinvite me, and then we can actually, you know, continue I, rating with I, proper knowledge? What I really think I want to do dude, is dude, dude, go on. sit in my corner of shame. We'll circle back to Game of Thrones, but how do you feel about Vampire Lord? Vampire Lord. Yeah. Tell I me because I just I have him. Ooh. That's all. That's I, all I don't. Have. I don't know where he's realistically going to be used. Maybe okay. raids. Maybe pull raids. Skills. Pull up his skills. Let's theorycraft this right. real quick. I'll just throw him. I probably I'll got probably throw throw like him 10 in more right minutes. Now. 10 more minutes. Got as long as it takes. To, for you to... What happened to this raid team? I'm throwing in vampire lords. Look at him. No, dude. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I see what you mean by... All right. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Yours is very well... Well off. Um. Okay. Attack power leader skill. Legit. Super legit. It immediately makes me think um, if he has multi-hits that might be good in Necro. Uh, maybe kind of sort of double hits? So Attacks double two hit, times, three times. Hit. Yeah. And then the heals. And the attack buff, yeah. The blood contract heals. Okay. Um, so attacks two times with a vampire bat, recovers 30% of the inflicted damage. Basic ass shit. Um, attacks three times. Each attack weakens the enemy's attack power, decreases their attack speed, and blocks beneficial effects. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I think realistically he could probably be used in any of the any of the dungeons with the right team. Uh, Do you think except maybe giant. You might not want him on a beginner's. You think you could like replace Colleen with him in Necro. Yeah. Throw Two him in there. Like you hit. replace Colleen, you pull Lucian out because fuck Lucian and you throw like another twin in there and then you just have everyone's damn it. Like maybe I feel like I, might I feel like you might fuck yourself on the golems though. You'd have to have enough shield runes if your leech buff wasn't up. Yeah, I'm Probably. Do you know, honestly. like, is there a common place people are using him? Like, are people using him in raids? I, uh, I, he has hella debuffs, right? Yeah, I haven't seen really anyone use him, using him in raids yet, but seeing the debuffs, yeah. I think 
one of the big places people will probably use them is like Windrift. Think about it. Um, uh, because oh right, 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 right. That's actually a really good call. Theoretically, yeah. although I don't know, Windrift is so strange. Like you can like the like, healers are DPS in Windrift. Yeah, like, my but... aerial like healing de- like in Windrift, my aerial deals more damage than like twins. Maybe not. I don't think that's true. When you heal though, like it pops the fucking wind beast for like twenty percent. That is true. Yeah, that that's valid. That's fair. Um, okay, so, get, get him out of here. Let's, let's keep raiding. Let's. <laughs> yes. What do, you, I, what do you think? I see what you're saying. I think that it could still be really strong because, like, one of the big moves right for Windrift is like putting Trevor or Lyca on vampire front line yeah. build. Yeah, like my my um, Windrift, I I have uh, I think Rakan and Lyca. Yeah. See, so and they're if, both on. They're both on vamp. Yeah. So theoretically, you might not need them to be on vampire. You could put them on like a fatal set for the extra nukes or rage if you farmed enough rage runes. Yeah, I guess. But then, I mean, I feel like they, you know, they're fire too. Is the thing, and like, I'm not sure. I I mean, I I think maybe Windrift. I'm I just didn't know if you knew like the. The, like the number one place people were using the, the vampire. I mean, and I'm they almost released him. They didn't release the other ones, or did they? Um, I think he's a part. Of, he's a part of the vampire family. So it's like other ones. In. Was what? What do you mean? What? He's a part of the vampire family. Yeah. So Is like he already a dark vampire. Yeah, he does. But he's like also a dark vampire. But now he's a lord. Like the same way Fran is a technically part of the fairy family, but yeah, not yeah, Neil. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because you skill them up with, uh, you can still skill them up with like birds, birds. right? Yeah. So you could like use birds and. Yeah. Um, can you skill a bird up with him though? Yeah, I'm sure you could. It's an interesting thought. <laughs> the great <laughs> plays. How do you get him if you weren't here for the event? Uh, I, they haven't released a way to do it. Okay, I don't, so I don't even think he's summonable. Or you go fuck yourself. Yeah, I don't know that he can even be summoned at this point. Uh, I would I would have to double check that info. Dude, but I would I don't hang know. myself if I summoned him. Sorry, that got dark. But like, <laughs> could, you imagine, could you imagine, dude, your first L&D Nat 5? Uh, this fucking dark vampire lord? I... You... Why would you say that? I'm just one. I, you can't. There's no way. What? It's like you can't Why? summon like, Zig or Avero either. So. Why? Why? I'm like I'm gonna have yeah. nightmares about summoning Vampire Lord as my first ah. LND Nat five, and, and it's gonna happen. Have... It's my luck. It's gonna happen yeah. now. You'll have to mulch him, dude, when you get him. Holy cow! You can't say things like that. I just. I'm just saying, dude. You're gonna have to mulch your first LND Nat five um that's honestly you used to be able to summon like fusion monsters there's like yeah there's never been anything that that was like fathomable for me to like want to quit a game like Uh this before but that would be the thought of that is like i would honestly probably like seeing the because here's the thing seeing the lightning i'd be like here we go this is happening this is awesome i don't like at that point with l and d i'm like i have two l and d three l and d yeah. lightnings under my belt so i'm like it could be anything and then to see the five star and realize <laughs> what i'd done i i would, I mean, would shut the would game you feel off good if you summoned a cadiz now a cadiz absolutely cadiz is still ridiculously strong yeah no i know but it's just it's it's just interesting like the i mean would you the, would you feel good if you summoned a cadiz I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think like I would slam a Kadis in my raid team, right? Are people using the Dark Vampire in raids? They aren't. Yeah, yeah, right. So he's got oh, brand. We just, just he heals. This. I feel like I'm having deja vu. We just discussed this. Were you were talking about Dark Vampire Lord? Yeah, 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 yeah. But Kadis yeah. you would throw in in raids too. Yeah, absolutely. Well. Yeah, hundred percent brand. I, mean, I would, I would rather have the Light Vampire, dude. That thing is a freaking psycho in RTA. Um, I don't know about. Oh, you so just like in general, not for raid. No, 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 in RTA. Okay, yeah, I mean that makes sense. No, so it's like it's like light vampire, and like there's oblivion. What do you mean? I no, run Perna. Like, okay. Yeah. Like okay. Well, I mean, yeah, you are running Perna, which um is failing us right now. Uh, we're not done Five. yet. If I S three right here, 
S3. Come on, you can do it. S3. S3. Well, he lost his attack buff and didn't S3. That was really that was a really good S3. Um, um so one day running uh -huh. I don't I I don't remember what it was. I think it was like a rift beast. I was trying to like formulate some stuff up and I threw two Ganny in and um I was autoing and or manualing, sorry. My homunculus died, gets reborn, Ganny got a violent proc was able to S2, and then the homunculus got to move off, died again, and yeah. then Ganny could S2 him again. <laughs> like, I kept, I kept my homunculus alive long enough to, like, clear this rift. Dude, and you, you, have, the, you have the monsters now, dude, like Ganny resetting, like, Perna reset, like, you know what I mean? Like, um... Yes. yes like, just it. there's... Oh, dude, you have so many lives with Ganny. Ganny is great I, for you. So, my, my arena offense is actually... Ganny, Amelia, Armana, Erna. For offense? Yeah. You just auto or what? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fair. Interesting. I'm still just, I'm still cleaving things, but I'm bad, I think, is the thing. Dude, I have, um, how's our, how's our Catabail going? Our, our Bailrina going? I, um, I never started. I fused Katarina and six starter. Rob, I have everything for Bale except like one monster. Rob, uh huh. Did he do it? Calling Did... you out, Rob. Oh, oh yeah, right now. Up. Rob still Hi, has Rob. not built his Tessa for raids. Hey, let me get my mic ah. set up right. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Mike, we can hear you. Mike, that's Mike. not your name. It's Rob. Rob, is his name Rob? I don't know. Rob, <laughs> you still have not built your Tessa. I now, I have built a second raid team. In the time that it's taken you to not build Tessa. Mm -hmm. I need you, Rob. What if he I never builds Tessa, though? He probably won't. Yeah. Which is dumb, because Tessa is the shit. Tessa is, like, a great monster. Uh, also, before I forget, shout out. Because we I quit looking at it when we took a break. We went over, with, with YouTube included... Uh, I actually don't know how many we have with YouTube, but I know it's more than what I'm about to say. Um, with YouTube included, we had over 5,000 downloads during our break there. Um, and we might actually be with YouTube at like 7,000 at this point. Yeah. Total downloads. So that's a milestone. And we could not have hit that without like any of you guys. So before I forgot, I just wanted to throw that out there. Because that is... Yeah. That is awesome. Like, did you... <laughs> Did you I expect that it myself, Keith? dude? Because we, we, uh, what we we like quietly went over a hundred subscribers right before I fucked off forever. Yeah, um, yeah, we did. But let me look now. And so yeah, dude, we're at hundred and thirty-five subscribers now. So we basically gained like thirty-five subscribers. You know. Yeah. I don't know that. Okay. Yeah. This is. It's good. I'm happy to be back, man. I'm 100% happy to be back. Yeah. Um, and we could not have done that. Honestly, without you guys. So seriously, thank you for all yeah. the support you guys had. Um, yeah, man. I'm trying it's to good. pull the stats up now, actually, and look at it again. It was a. It was like a while ago when I looked at it last, and. I always forget how to find the page, but I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll we'll update people next episode because I got to bail out anyway. Well, um, I mean, did you did you expect that kind of success um, starting starting this podcast? I don't know. I I really didn't. I didn't have any expectations other than wanting to create content that I would want to listen to. And like when we started the podcast, like there were no other summoners were podcasts. Um, and I think podcasts for video games especially have, like, a really nice place, like, listening to it while you're, like, exercising, listening to it while you're driving to work, like, you're taking a walk, like, before you pass out, like, whatever. The point is, is, like, it allows you to just, like, have headphones in and absorb content about a game that you're obsessed with, you know? And that yeah. was, like, you know, because you and I both came from an EVE Online background, and mm -hmm. it was, like, I couldn't play that game all the time. I was in school. I, you know, had class. I had this and that. But it's, like, I could 100%, like, even listen to those podcasts at work, you know? And I, and there were there were a ton for EVE Online. Um, so it was, uh -huh. like, even though I wasn't playing, 
I was wildly <clears throat> addicted and obsessed, and I wanted to listen to podcasts 24-7. Um, and I did for the first, like, six months to a year I played that game. Um, and that's where I got a ton of knowledge from it. And now, you know, there's, there's, we're not the only podcast out there. We're not the only source of information and having like an audio only format, like obviously there's, you know, YouTube, people can see our beautiful faces on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, but having an audio only format, like it puts it into this nice area where you can kind of like absorb and multitask and do other things while still yes. feeding your addiction, you know? So yes. <laughs> it's, it's truly awesome. Um, it's been a, a wild ride. So I didn't, I didn't realize, Keith, that you could play and not be playing all the time, in all honesty. Um, yeah, well, well, in the beginning, I was a big noob, and I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and I was like, I just need to train more battleship skills. <laughs> so while those were training, I was listening to podcasts. Like, there was a good, like, four or five months where I was just, like, subscribed and was in RVB and never played the game. Yeah. Um, so I actually, I remember a day where I was like flying a hurricane for like level two missions in high sec. Mm -hmm. Those are the days. Anyway, yeah. um, well, I know you've got to go. So I guess we can wrap it up there. This cast, like I said, we wanted it to be relaxed. We didn't want it to be super stressful or directed or anything like that. We just, Keith and I really, we, we hadn't gotten a lot of time to talk with each other. So we just wanted it to be an opportunity to be where the yeah. idea came from with Summoners were, which was didn't talk about the game while we talk to each other uh yeah i really hope you guys enjoy and uh we will see you guys next week hopefully yeah. welcome back to season two dudes and uh we'll we'll see you next week